Hi, today we'll talk about geometry problems and we have two problems now. It says that the perimeter of a pentagon is 81 units. The second side measures two units more than the first side, while the third side is five units more than the first side. The fourth side is twice the measurement of the first side, while the fifth side is three units less than twice the first side. Find the sides of the pentagon. So, as we know, pentagon is uh, uh, a figure with uh, uh, five sides and five angles. No? <clears throat> so, we just transform this, uh, send, uh, this problem here into a bright statement. So, for our solutions, we let x to be the first side. And it says that the second side is, five, is two units more than the first side. And the third side is five units more than the first side. And the fourth side is twice uh, of the first side. And the fifth side is three units less than twice the first side. So, we just... Add these uh, polynomials here, and the summation is 81. The sum is 81. So we add all the x's, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 7x, seven and the constant is 2, so 7 minus 2 is 4. And the sum is 81. We subtract a 4 to both sides of the equation. So we have here 7x minus, 7x is equal to 81 minus 4. That will be equal to 7, 7. We divide both sides of the equation by 7. So by 7, 7 over 7 is equal to 11. And we add for our second side 2 units. So 11 plus 3 is 13. And for the third side, we have here x plus 5, so 11 plus 5 is 16. The fourth side is twice the first side, so 11 times 2 is 22. And the fifth side is 3 units less than twice the first side, so 22 minus 3 is 19. So if you want to check this, we just add all the uh, measures of the sides, no? So 11 plus 13 is 24, plus 16 is 40, plus 22 is 62, plus 19 is 81. So we go to the uh, second problem. If the perimeter of a rectangular garden is 76, and the area is 360 square meter, what are the dimensions of the garden? So again, we transform this into algebraic statement. Where P, let P, is equal to 76, the perimeter, and the area is 360 square meter. So as we know, the formula for the area is 2 ln plus 2, which is equal to 76, where L is ln, uh, W should be. So we divide both sides of the equation by 2. So it becomes L plus W is equal to 38. And we call this one equation 1. So we also know that the area is ln times W is equal to 360. And then uh, we divide both sides of the equation by L, by the length, so 360 over L. We call this one equation 2. We substitute the value of equation 2, which is the value of equation 2, in equation 1. No? So all we have to do is uh, copy this one, L plus W is 38, L plus 360 over L, double equation 2. It's equal to 38. We multiply the whole equation by L. So this one becomes L squared, this one is 360, and this one is 38L. So to continue, we transpose uh, negative 38, uh, 38L to the left side, so it becomes L squared uh, minus uh, 38L plus 360 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation, so we want to get the value of uh, L by using the Quadratic formula. Well, where L is equal to negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC. 
where B is the second coefficient and A is the first coefficient and C is the third or the constant term. We just substitute the value from this uh, quadratic equation. So we have here L is equal to negative negative is positive 38 plus or minus. We just substitute B squared with negative 38 squared minus 4 uh, times 1, the first uh, uh, coefficient, uh, times 360, the constant term. So over 2 times 1. So L will be, to simplify this uh, uh, for that equation here, so we have a 38 plus or minus square root of 4 over 2. So 38 plus or minus 2 over 2. So we get here the value of L to be 20 and the value of W to be 18. So that's it, no? It's uh, easy. So it's a good practice for, for our geometry students. So. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so as to continue uh, having this kind of problem. And also click that uh, bell icon. So thank you. See you again later.